And I was on the fence between savory or sweet today and someone reached out to me and said, well, you gotta make this thing called Alpha Jores. Uh, I was like, okay. This is a shortbread cookie and then there's like a delicious filling in the middle. What we're doing today is dulce de leche. So I've been talking to someone from Argentina who has sent me all the recipes for today, including dulce de leche. Thank you, Constanza. Constanza, Constanza, Constanza. Thank you very much. She says, you can do dulce de leche, but it's really time consuming and it's never the same consistency. I don't recommend it. And I said, I'm gonna do it. So she sent me the recipe and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to make it. Okay, so in a pot, two liters of heavy milk, three cups of sugar, which is equal to 700, shite, 700 grams, a pinch of baking soda. Bring it to a boil. Totally an accident there. I'm gonna turn the temperature down to a simmer. I'm gonna stir this every 10 minutes for like an hour. Change the burners, cause I need to clean this up. Oops. I'm gonna make some cookies and I'm gonna use a stand mixer today. It's just a loner. 150 grams, two third cup of room temperature cubed butter. On goes the paddle attachment. Cream it. I have to grate in a uh, zest of a lemon, and all I have is a, uh, I already have a cut up lemon, so I have to do each individual piece. Just give me a second. How are things? Once the lemon zest is in there, I'm gonna add 150 grams of powdered sugar, and that's roughly a cup. Let's get back to creaming. Okay, I need nine egg yolks. I should have just done all this beforehand, but I didn't, so. I'm gonna do it at the drop of a hat. Nine egg yolks. Don't add them all together. You're supposed to do one by one. Add an egg yolk, mix a bit. Add an egg yolk, mix a bit. Put this to the side for a second. Okay, so 100 grams of flour. I had to double look at the recipe because it says 400 grams of cornstarch. Then I cross-checked with other Alpha Jorge recipes and yeah, it checks out. Cornstarch, this much, in it goes. Sift it. Two little teaspoons of baking powder. The mixer comes back over here and I'm gonna add this in slowly, a little bit at a time until it's all incorporated. Turn it down. And the last of it. Thank you for your service. I only have the Ziploc bag, no plastic wrap. So we're gonna see how this goes. And push it down. But make sure that the zip stays zipped. In the fridge for an hour. Okay, this is about an hour and 20 minutes later. And this thing looks pretty much still the same as it did when I started. The color is still very milk looking. So I'm gonna add together two tablespoons of cornstarch and four tablespoons of water, and I'm gonna whisk it together like a madman. Add in the slurry. Whisk it, make sure there's no clumpage. I have decided to add about a teaspoon of vanilla. Stirring frequently, making sure that the bottom of the pan isn't burning. I will check back in an hour. So after two hours, it is finally starting to turn color. Hallelujah. Hour and a half in the um, fridge with a rolling pin or a wine bottle. It's gotta be one centimeter in thickness, but the dough is sticking to the label of this to try to find a new creative way to flatten this thing. So I'm gonna use the base of a pan. I'm just making this up as I go. Okay, I guess if you had a 1.5 inch cookie cutter, I have a two inch cookie cutter. So I'm gonna cut out my cookies. Three hundred and fifty degree Fahrenheit oven. That's gonna bake for ten to thirteen minutes. Keep your eye on the prize. So they're done when there's some slight crackage, but they haven't changed color. Take these out. So I'm gonna be straight up honest with you and say that I have no idea when this is done because you don't want to overcook it or it firms up. And when you take it off the heat, it's still gonna cook a little. So this is the tricky part. I think it's up to you and the consistency that you want. But again, I have no idea. Okay, so we got good news, which is that the whole house smells like Dolce de Leche, which is 
which is heavenly. It really could take a while before it thickens up the way I need it to thick up. Because even this right now, that is still too runny. How is a cookie gonna be smudged between all this? It's just gonna come at the sides. I'm gonna keep this in the fridge until it completely cools. Thickened right up. So no piping bags, I'm gonna use a zip lock bag. Once each cookie has a mate, the lone wolf, Dolce de Leche gets piped onto the cookie. So this is the nice cookie and look at it. Okay, we have a problem. The consistency of the Dolce de Leche and the weight of the two cookies, something's not jiving. Evidently, this did not turn out. I have another jar of Dolce de Leche. I'm gonna keep this in the fridge until it firms up big timer. Now when it comes to the cookies, only a couple of them are completely untouched because I went in like guns blazing with the Dolce de Leche. So these, um, these are good still. These, I've wiped off the Dolce de Leche as much as I can, but some have been hit harder than others. I'm gonna keep these wrapped up. I'm gonna try to keep them fresh and, uh, well, and then cross my fingers too. Hey. A few days later, I took the Dolce de Leche out of the fridge and it was initially thick, but once it came to room temperature, it turned into the consistency, well, the consistency from a few days ago. So I added it back to a pot and put it back onto the heat. It was about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I could see it changing to a darker color. I could see it thickening up, but I think I left it on too long and uh, well, that's what we have now. So yeah, this is very thick. The answer was in front of me the entire time from my Argentine friend, Argentinian friend, Argentine, Argentinian. If you stop cooking and it's too runny when it's cold, you can continue cooking one more time, which I did. But if you overcook it, then it will become a hard candy and that is bad. <laughs> I had a feeling that things weren't gonna go my way, so I have a contingency plan. Store-bought Dolce de Leche. Honestly, this looks like the exact same consistency as my first batch. If I add this to the heat, do you think that it will thicken up? I've added a slurry of cornstarch and water in here, and I've brought it up to the heat, and I'm trying to thicken it that way. So I'm trying that method, but also this seems more like a shot in the dark. It's adding my homemade Dolce de Leche, which I'm slowly running out of. I don't have much left at this point. While it's warm, pulse in a blender with a, just a tiny bit of milk. Honestly, I'm just so tempted to add some of this store-bought Dolce de Leche into this blender with the homemade stuff, just to see what happens. It's not as stupid as you might think. Okay, so there is some clumps in this stuff, so so yeah, pass it through a sieve. This doesn't look like the worst thing in the world. Volume of Dolce de Leche that I have is like slowly, just it's decreasing quite rapidly. But uh, thank God I bought two cans of this stuff. It's still runny, yes, we still have that problem. So what if I just have this on low heat for like 20 minutes? What I have in my possession is a culmination of everything. This is my homemade Dolce de Leche mixed together with two store-bought cans of Dolce de Leche, both kind of, well, I worked on them in two different ways. One, I heated it up and then added a slurry. The other, I, um, well, I just straight up heated it up. I've passed everything through a sieve. I've had it in the fridge. I've mixed it together. Some of it, I blended it together. This is what I have. If it doesn't turn out at this point, then I give up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, I'm okay with everything that has happened so far. So I think what's going on here is me handling the Ziploc bag has made the Dolce de Leche warmer than it should be. So I have it in the freezer just to kind of cool down because, you know, immediately once I added it to the cookies, it just started spreading in a very annoying fashion. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. Oh my God, in heaven. Uh, every cookie has its little buddy, right? So one 
Okay, yes, every cookie has a buddy. We're not out of this yet. What I have to do now is just clean each one of these up because the Dolce de Leche is being such a little bitch. I'm gonna get this into the freezer for like five minutes just so the freaking spread on these cookies just firms up just a little bit. Yeah, and then we make a sandwich, okay? There you go, combine them. This is what we got at this point. Sh okay, okay, you can live with that. Grated coconut. Stick the grated coconut onto the sticky part, the Dolce de Leche. That's gonna hide all the flaws, I hope. This cookie is so soft. I sh you not. This is one of the best cookies I've ever had in my entire existence. Phenomenal. How is that not like more famous? Maybe it is, I don't know. So if you're looking at these cookies like this, yes, they look very smushed. Because I was trying to take a photo of them and I stacked them all on top of each other and I was trying to be creative and they just, just, they all sunk right in. 